and in front of me I have Tika's new T3X. This is their compact tactical rifle and uh, this is a phenomenal, phenomenal gun. I gotta tell you, I think I'm in love and I don't know if Beretta's gonna get this gun back. Hey everyone, Ian Kenny here for Guns America, and in front of me I have Tika's new T3X. This is their compact tactical rifle, and uh, this is a phenomenal, phenomenal gun. I gotta tell you, I think I'm in love, and I don't know if Beretta's gonna get this gun back. So I've always been interested in the Tikas, uh, the T3s in particular. I saw them as a, an alternative to the Remington 700. So let's start out uh, with the barrel. Barrel is 20 inches long. It's got a 1 in 8 twist for the 6.5 Creedmoor chambering that this rifle's in, but I think it's a 1 in 10 twist for 308s. And it's also available in 260 Remington, although I can't confirm what that uh, barrel twist rate is at this point in time. But barrels come threaded 5 8 24 for a uh, thread on suppressor or a standard muzzle brake. Thread protector goes on there pretty smooth, locks down tight. Coming back, the receiver, uh, between the T3 and the T3X, they enlarge the ejection port so they can more easily uh, single feed rounds into the chamber. They put on a, an alloy bolt shroud uh, that is an upgrade from the, the previous, I believe, but I think the rest of the bolt is still all the same as the T3. Still has that wonderful 70 degree smooth bolt throw, no issues. The two position safety actually locks the bolt handle, which is a great feature if you're a hunter heading out to the woods and you want to keep that bolt down. So the stock is also plastic. It comes with an aluminum bottom metal for the uh, proprietary uh, CTR mags. More on that in a second. Bottom metal is aluminum. It's got an ambidextrous magazine release. You activate it with your uh, trigger finger and the magazines fall right out. Really, really great feature. They improved the the grip area here on the stocks as well as here on the pistol grip and you can actually swap these pistol grips out if you wanted to take this more sporter kind of uh, pistol grip off there and put a more vertical tactical style grip good for shooting prone or off of a bench all you have to do is unscrew this uh, the screw in the back and it swaps right out the recoil pad the is softer, I believe, from the original T3s. Still has Tika's uh, butt spacer system so you can adjust the length of pull. Underneath it here, they have a little cheek riser, although with this 34 millimeter tube scope, I had to put a cheek piece on there from uh, Eagle that I had. Barrels are free floated and they upgraded the recoil lug from an aluminum recoil lug to a steel recoil lug, which is what a lot of guys who are buying T3s were doing anyway. So Tika made a lot of well thought out modifications and upgrades to this rifle and out of the box the accuracy of this thing is you'd have to see it to believe it I think so got this gun out I mounted up the Burris XTR2 4 to 20 took it out to 100 yards and I'll get a, an enlarged picture of this I don't know how well you can see it but this was five rounds of Hornady Precision Hunter 143 grain ELDX's factory ammo factory gun relatively budget optic and this is the group it was knocking out. So I thought I'd try out some other ammo. This is Hornady's uh, 140 grain AMAX match. It's a discontinued load but uh, as you can see that shoots just as well too. 129 grain Hornady, I think it's American Whitetail. It's their hunting ammo. These are lead tip bullets. I'd put five of those under an inch. I don't know if I could do that with a Remington. And this is uh, American Eagle, 140 grain Bowtail hollow point. That's three quarters of an inch right there. So no load that I fired was over one MOA. And so it certainly meets Tika's one MOA guarantee and just 
that's when I started falling in love with the gun. I couldn't believe that it had that amount of accuracy for a gun that's just sitting in a plastic stock in, uh, in factory form. So the magazines that this thing takes are proprietary to Tika. Uh, if you want to get another magazine, it's going to run you about 115 bucks. So it is double the price of like an Accuracy International mag, but it does have this really nice uh, texturing and grip here. So you can pull it out of a mag pouch pretty easily. It's double stack single feed. It is a, a shorter 10 round magazine compared to the AICS. So it has that going for it. Um, and all in all, it was a smooth feed magazine. I had no issues out of it. After I shot at 100 yards, I took, uh, took the gun out to two and 300, shooting the, the hunting loads, the match loads, and it was just stacking rounds on top of each other at those distances. As you'll see in the video clips coming up, you know, I had no problems hitting steel out there. I brought it out today to shoot at 600. Got a little lucky. They had some other uh, targets up at other ranges, I think at 450 and 575. And again, you know, this rifle was just hammering them. While I'm talking about shooting, what I like about this trigger too, is it's very easy to adjust from a user standpoint. So right now I've got this trigger set at two and a half pounds. It breaks very crisp, very little creep. I'd say, actually say there's probably no creep and very little over travel. To adjust this, you take these two action screws out and that gives you access to a uh, screw on the front of the trigger. You just turn that clockwise, counterclockwise, and I think the adjustment range on the trigger is two to four pounds. And I have this set to two and a half, and it's just about perfect. So I can't say much more about this gun. Let's uh, go to the videos. I'll show you uh, how it's shot at various ranges, and then we'll come back. Okay guys, uh, I hope you enjoy those videos and as you saw, this gun is very versatile. It shot very well from the shooting sticks, it shot well leaning over a uh, wobbly shooting table, and it shot really well from the prone. There aren't too many changes that I would make to this gun as it is. If I keep this gun, I probably will put a muzzle brake on it just for the simple fact that all my other guns have muzzle brakes. MSRP on this gun, here's the other amazing thing. So this gun is 1148 as you see it right here with the the sort of stainless steel finish, the stock comes with one magazine, it's 1148. If you get one, I don't know if it's a blued or phosphate finish, but the black barreled action with the same stock is actually under $1,000. Here's another neat, neat feature about these guns. So the bolt handle can be replaced by the end user. You don't have to send it off to a gunsmith or anything like that. 
highly recommend you check this gun out if you're going to be a beginning long range shooter or you're just like another backup gun uh, for your 6.5 or 308 that you can use at, at tactical matches. Uh, check out gunsamerica.com for more information or check out Tika Rifles uh, to get the scoop on other uh, calibers and uh, some additional information about these new T3Xs. Have a good day.